Now, if you're conducting this exercise in GeoGebra, it's pretty much the same thing, except we have to capture the points a little bit differently. And so I've constructed my curve. I've constructed a point on the curve, which is simple enough. And now I'm going to capture the points. In other words, I'm going to trace this point to spreadsheet. So under, um, and so I can actually right click on this and I can see that I can trace this to spreadsheet. So make sure that that's on. And then when you trace the, when you grab the point, and start to move it, it will automatically get traced into the spreadsheet. And when you move the point, the trace automatically gets copied to the spreadsheet. Now the trick is to exchange the X and Y, and so these are my X coordinates. I want to cut them from there, and I'm just going to move over in my spreadsheet a little bit, and I'm going to paste them into the C column. And now, all I have to do is highlight all these points, and I'm going to right-click, and I am going to create a list of points. And as you can see, when I create that list of points, it starts to plot the inverse for me. 